Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is part 20 of my Global Company tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back. So in part 20, we're gonna take a look at the Agres uh, BGA. So if we go into the store, um, that is going to be found under placeables, under Agres Farm Production. Um, it is the biogas plant here. Well, not the nursery, biogas plant. It's a million dollars. Um, and I actually, uh, I quite like it. So I'll show you some different things. So normally when you place a BGA or you have a BGA, inside the menu here, there's going to be a store option for you to sell different items there. This you don't sell anything to, but you do make money off of it. And I'll explain that in a second. So we'll go over into the production in a second for um, what it's going to take here. But uh, there is important things to note. So if we actually go to the far back side, just like a lot of these other mods have. Is it over here? Where is it at? Gosh, I can't remember where it's at now on this one. But there is a box that has um, all the different designations that you can turn on and off. Oh, actually, you know what? It's over here right over here so this one is going to turn on and off your well if i can hit it this one over here is the lights off and then these ones are going to turn on your hazard boxes and your in and out so these hazard boxes here and the ins and outs and open up and whatnot are here another thing important to know while we're here open up first so these you come up hit left click to open them up so you can actually put inputs in and over here inputs in so then everything else is pretty self-explanatory this is one of your inputs here this is the out for digestate. So this is where you're gonna get digestate out. And this is the rest of the inputs over here. So what does this exactly do that makes it so special or, or is a little bit different or what? what's its purpose? So if we go into the control G menu or the global company menu, um, open that up. There's three different things it can do. Um, it can process silage, liquid manure, or biomass mixing is what it can do. So under silage, it'll take regular silage um, or it'll take any of the other maize plus silages there. It can hold up to 5 million liters and it can have as much of an output of 10 million liters. Now the given the digested output is shared between the three processes, but there's your output there for that. Um, it can also process liquid manure, holds up to a million liters and to digestate. And it will also um, take chaff, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, TMR, forage, or wood chips um, as biomass up to a million liters, and it'll process it into digestate, as well as it does take a little bit of fuel to do this. Um, you can buy um, stuff. Uh, that's actually extremely cheap. You actually probably make some money off of that. Um, so you can buy the different products, at least for most of these. I think actually all of them you can. Yeah, so you can buy products for all of them to fill them up. Uh, obviously, some are more expensive than others. Um, this does still generate you money. So as it processes it, every hour you get paid out a certain rate. And I'm going to go over all the rates for all those three processes here um, at the very end and kind of what you need to do. But as far as inputs go, if I'm going to put silage in, so any of the silage types are going to get put into this uh, first one right here. So there you go. That's the silage input right there. Um, you won't be able to put it into over here. Right here, it's not gonna take it. If I hit I, it's not accepted here. Now, if I wanted to put chaff or sugar beets or any of those other ones, we'll just do the sugar beets here. Sugar beet, potato, doesn't matter. And they are accepted here, but if we go back over this first one, they're not accepted there. So those are the two different processing plants. Now this one, this first one here doesn't even have a liquid accepting uh, icon like this one does here, a liquid accepting icon. So um, just based on that alone, you should be able to figure out that the liquid manure, you're gonna have to put in that second one. So if we take this guy, we'll fill him up with liquid manure. We actually drive in down into here. You'll see that this first one is not going to be an input for us. So it's not going to take it. But if you just go a little bit further, it'll take it right here. So there you go. And then just back here is going to be the output. So obviously that's the liquid manure input. Those two tanks in the back are for digestate. Um, now, what, what does this do? What does it process? What rates? I did a test on all of them. I did a test on the liquid manure processing. I did a test on the silage uh, processing and the biomass mixing. So if we go into the menu here, this will just be a little bit easier to look at it. So this one, you can already see the rate, but we'll go over all that in a second. So silage processing, um, it will process silage at 50,000 liters per hour into digestate. Every 1,000 liters you put in, so 1,000 liters of silage, you are going to get $540. So it's going to process and make you $540 up here. And you're also going to get 750 liters of digestate out. So 1,000 liters of silage, $540, and you are going to get um, $750 out of this. Um, or sorry, no. You are going to get, gosh, I was reading the wrong. That was a liquid manure one. <laughs> Jeez, now I got it all messed up. Silage, sorry. 
1,000 liters in, you're going to get $720, and you're going to get 500 liters of digestate. Liquid manure, we just went over, is going to be 1,000 liters in, $540, and $750 in silage. Now, if we go down to biomass, this one is the least um, profitable, but it kind of makes sense, because if you're putting chaff in here, you can get chaff really easy. So if you don't want to have to uh, process chaff into silage, you can sell it here um, just quicker. So silage, or for the biomass here, for every 1,000 liters here, and 10, approximately 10 is actually 10 and a half liters of fuel, but 10 liters, we'll say. So for every 10 liters of fuel, 1,000 liters of biomass, um, you are going to get uh, 750 liters of digestate, and you're going to make $360 up here. So not too bad. Um, and I will say that these both process at 50,000 liters of an hour, an hour. So that means it's going to go through 50,000 liters of liquid manure or 50,000 liters of silage, which is really fast. This one only processes biomass at 25,000 liters per hour. So a little bit different there, but uh, yeah, in general, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'll, I'll speed things up here just a second so we can get a little bit of digestate in the tank so I can demonstrate that. Should be able to pull right into here, hit R to fill up. It's gonna show you digestate there and we can put it into the tank just like that. But yeah, pretty self-explanatory. It's a different way to do BGAs, I think. Um, and I think it's pretty unique, but, and again, it does require a global company, so. I think it's pretty nifty. I may end up using it at some point. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you have done already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.